Hi YouTube. I uh, thought I needed to send this out. I just I was checking my mail and um, I got this from somebody on my email list. It says no birth equips today. Nope, we got a much hotter topic: radiation in our milk from Japan. In case you care, here's a reply I got from my milk company. I get my moo juice from out here on the left coast in Oregon, <laughs> Organic Valley Farms. Yes, I eat and drink only organic products. My body is a temple. Their milk goes great with Hostess Twinkies. I asked if they were testing their milk for radiation. They said yes, but can't tell the public what the levels were because of confidentiality agreements. <laughs> Obviously, it's not good. Okay, I guess. But they did send along a nifty little chart to show what the radiation levels are currently in most American cities. You guys on the East Coast are cool for a while, I guess. But if you, this, just for milk, but if you live in Hawaii or have friends there, which means that the cows eat um, off the ground and water, so it would mean that the radiation uh, to get in the milk is in the uh, water and, uh, um, and on the ground. But if you live in Hawaii or have friends there, they are starting to use their milk as night lights. I just wanted, I know that, um, I just want the people in Hawaii to know to get a heads up on this and all of us really we we <laughs> we should be alerted to everything because if it's in the ground and the air there that circulates around the world and it doesn't take days um, to get from the west coast to here and our milk shift in most of us um, here's the website okay he said to click on this um, these four arrows here and it'll make the data full screen Come on. now we have um, they, they have 36 listings here but they're not all the states some of them have more than one uh, and um, this ND stands for no data that's a little worrisome that means they haven't even tested it okay Hawaii Hilo was um, cesium 134 it's I don't know what exactly what the numbers mean except for that they mean that the radiation is coming from Japan and settling in the food and the water and on the earth um, nine but you the website here you can go read it uh, cesium 137 iodine 131 move over um, and there's no more no data it doesn't mean it's not there it just means they haven't tested for it and the, these other ones up here are um, who is this San Francisco I mean no excuse me Los Angeles Phoenix Little Rock Arkansas oh Lord Little Rock Arkansas is higher than Los Angeles good God uh, who else and see all these are no data it doesn't mean it's not there it means they haven't tested um, Montpelier Vermont Spokane Washington that's little but and and I'm sure that the samples aren't that big they haven't even tested for these other ones so um, the site is uh, I'll put it at the bottom. It's a Radnet, Radnet, Milk Radnet Laboratory Analysis, but I'll put this at the, in the link. Um, so we all need to be aware and we need to start uh, <laughs> researching and seeing what we're going to do. I know there's some natural, natural things to uh, mediate the effects to make it where it's harder, uh, easier on your body not easy where it's less less uh, traumatic for your body and uh, we need to do some research for the kids because th we're going to be living with this a, a while we're going to be living with it a while people seem to be worried um, like oh poor Japan no the earth and the um, the air and the water the earth is a living living thing and in its circulatory systems are the air and the water what what goes in in one place goes everywhere eventually it goes everywhere it's not just Japan it's the world
Um, okay, that's all. I wanted to get that out to you. Um, Y'all have a good day.